everyone, let's take a look at our next multiple choice question. So this one's saying evaluate this sum. It's given to us in summation notation. It's a geometric series because I can see that there's a multiplier here, right? There's this exponential term with the variable up in the exponent. So here's the base. Here's the exponent. That is a geometric series. It's infinite. I can also see that there's that infinity symbol up there. All good things. So we have a formula for infinite geometric series. We have this s is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r. And the thing I need to check for r, and you always need to check this, is that the absolute value is less than 1. So if I look at my r in this case, it's 1 fourth. So the absolute value of r is less than 1, right? which means it's going to converge to a number. So I could rule this out. Now just for example, let's say, and it doesn't here, but let's say this had said 7 fourths instead. If that, that base was 7 fourths, that absolute value is greater than 1, and then I would have had a divergent series. Now again, it doesn't here, so I'm, I'm not going to say it's divergent. Um, but I, I just want to give you a, another for instance. All right, so then the thing that we have to do in solving this is we need to actually find the first term in this geometric series. So if I was going to let i equal 1, oops, let me get that there. If I want to find a sub 1, that would be 50 times 1 fourth, which is 50 over 4. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind, and then let's just apply the formula, right? a over 1 minus r, so this is 50 over 4 divided by, oops, let me scroll that back up a little bit, by 1 minus 1 fourth, so that is 50 over 4. And then if I look at the denominator, 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. And so I have basically 50 fourths times a little 4 thirds, that cancels out, that leaves me with 50 thirds, and there's my answer. All right, thanks so much.